Hey YouTube! Today is part one on how to build a foam puppet. Here we go. Oh, hee ho, hee ho, cheeky cheek in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch them eggs to eat them up, eat them up, booga loo. I love some chucky. All right, all right. Well, guys, welcome back to the Timmy Tube Network. And today we're going to build a foam puppet head. And this will be part one of how many parts. I don't know. I'm trying to keep them as short as I can. Um, but today is going to be part one of how to build a foam puppet. And it's going to go over building a foam puppet head um, with the cutting of the foam, the, the template, the mouth plate, all the good stuff. So let's do it. All right. Um, let's get started on making this foam puppet head. Now, what you're going to need, the tools you're going to need is the weld wood contact cement. I use this a lot um, and uh, we're going to need popsicle sticks and uh, we're going to need a nice pair of shears. We're going to need the round head pattern. Now guys, I've made a whole brand new foam puppet head pattern that uh, if you go, if you look down there on the links down at the bottom in the description area, you'll see a link to the round puppet head and I've redesigned it. Uh, and if you notice on the pattern that you can download, there'll be a one, two, three, four. And those are the, the gluing steps. I don't know if that's what other people use, but I'll be honest with you. That's how I do it. And um, so uh, make sure you, you get that uh, pattern it is exactly the same size as this. That pattern fits on a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Once you cut it out, then you can put it on a little thicker piece of paper like I've done here. So you're gonna need the pattern. You're gonna need some foam. Uh, this is a piece of extra foam that I had. Um, and it's about a half an inch thick, uh, maybe a little smaller than that. I have all different sizes of foam and uh, um, but this is the foam we're going to use here. And, um, and then for the mouth piece, the mouth plate, I've got some foam here. Uh, this is going to go on the outside of the cardboard to give the cardboard some strength and pliability. And last but not least, we have a Lego box. And this is what I use because to me, it's the correct thickness that that I like using, um, you can bend it, it doesn't crease too well, and when you apply that foam and felt to it, um, it'll be, uh, it'll work really good and last a long time. I mean, I've had the, the puppets that I make um, that you saw earlier, those puppets have lasted, uh, they're 10 years old. I mean, my first one anyway that I built is 10 years old and it's still working like a champ. So, now uh, we're also gonna need a handy dandy, magic marker uh, for doing the template. So without any more going around, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do this template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this here on here and I wanna use as much as the foam as I can because you don't wanna have scraps and you don't wanna waste it because it is expensive. So you've got your pattern there. Now take your Sharpie or whatever kind of pen you're gonna trace it is and just trace along the pattern. Try not to move the pattern too much because you don't want the uh, head to be, you know, <laughs> P 
peanut shaped or whatever. So just go ahead and trace around that. Oh, I moved it. Did you see that? Probably using the wrong pen to do this. But, okay, so there's one. I missed a piece here. But I'll just fill that in because I know it's a straight line. And then what you want to do is find a place on the foam that, that you can use without wasting too much of the foam. No. I guess I'll just go on down with it to down there because I'd like to get two more puppets out of here. I don't know if I would be able to. It looks like I may be able to. So uh, maybe let's flip it over here like this. Yeah, that should give me space to uh, do my other. So I'm just going to trace this one as well. And that's why it's good to use a thick piece of uh, paper for your for your template, so you won't do like I did and draw, draw over top of the template. So, do we get it? Yeah. Just need to go down here. All right. There's our foam puppet heads that we're going to cut out. So. Let's go ahead and cut those babies out. We won't need the template anymore. We're done with that. So let's go ahead and cut it out. Now what I'll do is, usually so I don't have to mess with this whole piece of foam, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off the the foam here. And it's good to have a nice pair of utility shears uh, for cutting foam. These are nice and sharp. I've used them on quite a few puppets too. All right. So there's our, our pattern and it's in foam. And now what we're going to do is I'll probably speed up the camera here just because you don't want to see me cutting this. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do one at a time. So I'll go ahead and just cut this one out. Cutting and sitting, sitting and cutting. And it, one thing about building puppets, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I've made enough where if you go over the line a little bit, it doesn't really matter. It'll be close enough. It's not a, in my mind, it's not a perfect science because it's just a puppet and they all have personality. There's one. 
All right, let's do the next one. There you go, look at that. There's our foam heads, right there. All right. Now, I always save my scraps uh, because you never know when you might need to do an ear or a nose or something. So the bigger pieces I do save, um, just because, like I said, you might need a piece of foam for a certain thing. But the small pieces I kind of just toss out. So I'm going to save these, and I'll be right back. All right. Now, this is the next step. And the next step is we're going to use the DAP Well Wood Contact Cement. And we're going to use a popsicle stick. So go ahead and get your popsicle stick out. Go ahead and open your weld wood. You shouldn't be using shears. I don't have a screwdriver, so anyway. All right. Now, see the, it's gel and it stinks. You'll probably get a contact buzz but so anyway what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna take your weld wood get a little bit of the gel on here and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put that in here like this just put a little bit lightly coat it on both sides of the of the cut like that And do one, two, And you're going to want to put it on a light coat. You don't need a heavy coat. And you might as well do in here as well. Right in here. So that's one. Let's go ahead and do the other.
And it doesn't matter if it dries because you actually want it tacky and it's not going to dry that fast. So go ahead and do all your pieces that you need. And uh, like I said, it doesn't matter if it dries, you actually want it to be tacky. That's why you put a thin coat. You don't want it to be too thick. All right. Okay. Now you're done with this popsicle stick for now. So what I do is I close this up because this has a lot of fumes. Do you remember when you were a kid and you did model planes and cars and stuff? That's what this smells like to me. It smells like model glue. So go ahead and put your cover on that. Set it to the side. So now you've got your glue here on here. And um, what you want to do is you want to let that dry a little bit. And um, once it dries a little bit, Then you're gonna go ahead and press these together. See here, see that right there? You're just gonna press it and hold it together. And then do your other piece. Press it and hold together. See how it's coming apart a little bit? Because it wasn't tacky enough. So just hold it together. This one's coming apart a little bit. I didn't give it time to dry. Now, do the number, step number three. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure it makes contact and then squeeze it together. Now, I hope I did it the right way. Did I make two the same side? I did. So, I'll just flip it through. And there's our heads, our sides of the head. There you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue along the top. This would be step four. So you wanna put glue along here, like that, and along here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now get our 
weld wood and all the supplies that I have are going to be listed down in the description so if you need to find this stuff you can Put a nice thin coat on it. Looks like caramel, <laughs> caramel, caramel. And go ahead and do right here. And then go over to your other side and do that as well. Got it on the side there. And like I said, you don't want to put too much on. You just want to put a thin layer on there. Okay, there's that. Now we've got the two sides. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I forgot. I forgot to get that right there. So let's go ahead and get this piece here. All right. So what you want to do is you want to wait until this is tacky to the touch. It's a little wet now. So just get it so it's just tacky, tacky to the touch. Because what that's going to do is when you make contact with this, it's going to make a weld. That's why they call it weld wood. So now what you want to do is start at the top make contact and hold it and then what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to work your way down and uh, just keep on going with it
All right, so it's coming along, isn't it? So now the last step is to do the front and just put that together like that. Now the bottom's not gonna matter if it's off, but you wanna get close as you can to the top here. So go ahead and do that as well. All right, look, that's our head. See that, it's perfect for your hand. See that? So there's the head. Now, if you notice the jaw, the actual top, I don't know if you can see that, let's see. See how that is? It's going inside. It doesn't really matter um, because what we're going to do is, is next we're going to do the mouth plate and um, and you can you can take your scissors and you can trim if things aren't even like you see it's a little messed up there. Just go in there and use your scissors and trim it up as you need it. I mean in, in reality you can even you can even trim you can even trim this a little bit not much to take out the hump you, you can see see it's got like a little hump but while this is drying you can actually push that down like that to get rid of the hump but I don't care about the hump and the reason why I don't care is because I put um, I put wigs and hair on mine, so it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter too much. But, uh, so, there's the head. All right, well guys, that wasn't too hard. Um, we got a, a pretty decent product. Um, it was fairly easy. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, but make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this series on how to build a foam puppet. And uh, come back and see us here on the Timmy Tube Network. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good old stuff so you're updated on our newest videos. So, anyway, guys, y'all have a good one, and we'll see you later on the Timmy Tube Network. <laughs> okay. I love some chubby. I like beef chutney. Beef chutney. Beef, 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 beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef chutney. I like a big fat beef chutney. <laughs>